My name is Tomas Casoliano. The background that I have in the airline industry is, it's, it's vast as I've, I've worked from the counters of the airline to being a flight attendant, to working ground operations, to every aspect that you have, including cleaning the labs and changing the blue juice, as they say, from the lavatories. When I am about to travel, I, I've already determined and um, know where my destination is. That way I would learn about the, the area that I'm going to if I've never been there before. I do a little bit of research. I try to find out as many things with the country or city that I'm visiting, culture, language, certain phrases, just, just to help me navigate the arrival and not to have too much of a cultural shock on my part. When I search for bag allowances, I always search at the airline website. Yes, I do purchase my tickets sometimes online. However, my experience has been what they tell me when I buy it through the, um, uh, the sites of the travel agency is not the same that the airlines are, are allowing. What I pack in my bag is depending on what I'm going to be doing. For example, if I'm going to a wedding, I definitely have to um, pack clothes that will be appropriate for the wedding. However, if it's also a resort destination type of thing, I have to pack accordingly to enjoy myself at the, the event as well as at the destination. I also must ensure that when I'm packing certain things, I need um, an adapter, for example, for when I have to charge my electronic devices because when you're traveling today, you always bring either a laptop, a computer, a laptop computer, your, your uh, mobile device, and or an iPad, which is a must. I usually book my accommodations before I leave, especially if I've never been to that city before. I feel that it's important to know where you're going when you get there. Um, I've had experiences before where I was like, oh, throw caution to the wind and, and book something when I get there. And it can work in your favor, but I find most times it works against you because you're having to search, you're having to spend a valuable time looking and, and it just doesn't make sense. It's best to have like, that pre-planned. Traveler's insurance. Now that is a key to a successful journey. In the event that you get sick or something happens prior to your departure, dates have to change. And with the prices of tickets today, they're very reasonable, but they come with many stipulations. Change fees or no change fees at all, or no changes done at all. So it's important that if you are purchasing a ticket prior, which everyone usually will do, to have traveler's insurance for your protection. Even, even included if something happens and you have to purchase a hotel room uh, while you're traveling, because if, if it's weather, airlines will not take care of that for you. You're on your own. I usually check in 24 hours prior to the scheduled departure via my mobile app and or the computer. And that eliminates a lot of stressors. I've checked in before without my mobile app and I've gone to the airport and the lines were horrendous. So if you've checked in already, the airlines has another area that you can go to like a self-serve and it's just so much easier. Going to the airport before I depart, I tend to give myself three and a half to four hours before scheduled departure. And I'm gonna tell you why. You never know if that Uber driver is gonna pick you up late. You never know if there's traffic. You never know if the weather is gonna be incremental. You never know if there's there's an accident. You, you never know if the computer system goes down. Uh, anything could go wrong. Uh, even the computer system for the airline, they could have a system, system glitch and that could delay um, checking in. And 
for those who have not checked in on their mobile uh, devices, usually are the ones that don't get to go on that airplane. What you need to know when you travel international is that you have to make sure that your passport is valid. And in certain countries, if your passport has less than three months, they may not allow you to enter the country. Know the visa requirements, if any. Uh, know for any type of shots or inoculations that you may need while abroad for certain countries you need the, um, like if you're going to Africa, for example, you do need like typhoid and, and yellow fever shots. It's very important that you have that or else you may deny entry into the country. The first things that one should do when they get on the aircraft is to familiarize yourself with the nearest exits. That's first and foremost for safety. But you never know what may happen. The second thing is um, I make sure that I have my passport in, 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 in its right place for arrival. And I also, believe it or not, I sanitize my seat area with um, some antibacterial type of, you know, wipes. And uh, I make sure that I have everything that I need for a, a very comfortable long journey you know, music, iPads, anything to make it more comfortable, reading material, etc., is what I usually have. The one of the first things that I do after getting to my destination, arriving, is clearing customs, making sure that all of my bags have arrived, and um, then I will go to outside of the arrivals hall and making sure that the transportation that I I, um, I booked is, is waiting for me. And usually when I book ahead, is the, the custom is they have your name on a little placard or something, or they have an, your name on an iPad. And it's just it's just a great, great feeling that, you know, you're there, new city, you feel very important and, and well taken care of. Then I usually ask the um, driver to take me to a local convenience store to pick up any, um, you know, waters and or snacks. That's one of the few things that I do and then get settled in. After I get settled in, the one of the few things, it depends on the time of arrival. If it's late at night, early morning, obviously I would try to get some rest. But if it's not during the day, I waste no time shower and get going and get you know settled and and explore the city and and enjoy the panorama and and the, and the sights and the smells of every arrival city because every city every country has a very distinctive um, scent that is always in my memory and that's something that it always goes with me wherever I travel or whenever I travel. There's always a constant reminder of what that, that experience represents. 